Well, let me begin by wishing you a happy new year. I hope you had a, a nice Christmas in spite of all that's going on. And uh, usually I would talk to the boys uh, at the beginning of a new year. I can't do that this year because uh, the vast majority of boys have to stay at home, uh, at least for the first week. Um, so I thought I'd send a video message out to talk to the boys and to you mams and dads. Um, and it's really not just the start of a new year, but we are about to start a new phase in the history of the Fulham Boys School. We're about to move to our permanent site. And I've talked a lot in recent blogs um, and in assemblies about moving from phase one of our history, which was getting things set up, to now phase two. And uh, typical of Fulham Boys School, I guess, uh, we are doing all of this in what is undoubtedly um, one of the most difficult times the country's faced, uh, probably since the Second World War. And so I still thought I'd start the year by uh, saying 10 things I think the Fulham Boys School, boys, parents, staff, should do to get through these difficult times and to be in a really good position when we come out of this and all this has passed. I think the first thing is this. We need to listen, listen to each other. Um, everyone has got an opinion about COVID and um, we all watch the news, read different newspapers, uh, listen to different experts and we all feel quite strongly about what we should do and what should happen. I'm sure you've got lots of opinions about what the government is doing. Um, everyone has got an opinion and we all think what we think is right and what we think should happen should happen. But from what I can see, um, the science is by no means conclusive or unanimous and uh, a lot about how we think and what we say is based on our temperaments, what we're like, um, the situation we might be in, our circumstances, and also our experiences of COVID. Maybe it's affected people in your family, maybe it's affected you. Um, we've all got different backgrounds. And so all these things are factors in how we uh, face and deal with this pandemic. And so I think it's important that we all listen to each other and hear what other people have to say and not assume that we know everything and what we think should happen should happen, but actually we should uh, listen because uh, it is, and this word has been used many, many times, isn't it? it's unprecedented. And uh, we're all chartering kind of water we've never been through before. And so it's important we listen to each other. And the second thing is we need to be brave and uh, don't give in to our fears. Um, hold our nerve and, and Maybe you boys are thinking, but sir, how can I be brave? I'm petrified. I'm so scared about what's going on. Well, bravery is getting on with it, doing what I need to do when I'm petrified. I just do it. Aristotle, he said, um, by acting bravely is how one becomes brave. So if you want to be brave, then act bravely. Get on with it. Don't listen to your fears. Talk to your fears and hold your nerve, be brave. Thirdly, be kind and sensitive. I said in my first point, um, we've all got different temperaments, and we've all got a different approach to all this, and different personalities and different backgrounds. And so we need to be kind to each other and sensitive to other people's feelings and uh, help people, help mom and dad, help our neighbors, um, help other boys in the school, help our teachers, be helpful to each other because I'm sure that throughout this, there'll be different times when all of us will struggle in different ways. And um, it's important that we can be kind to each other and patient with each other. The fourth thing is, uh, here we go, be enterprising. Uh, it's a word we use a lot in front of boys because one of our three pillars. But um, I think in this situation is a great opportunity to be enterprising. Make the best of the situation. Play the hand we're dealt. Um, none of us would have chosen to have the year that we did in 2020. Um, none of us would choose to be going through this global pandemic. Uh, none of us want to be in lockdown. But let's make the best of it. And I believe so passionately that we will come out of this much, much stronger. Uh, like I said, it's, it's the worst the country's 
uh, had to face since the Second World War. And uh, in my church in London is a lady called Frida, and uh, she's in her 90s, and she's an absolute legend. And uh, she came from the Second World War, and she's been locked down since March. My wife visits her and uh, drops things off to her, but she's pretty much on her own, and yet she's gutsy and resilient, and she gets on with it, and she copes. Why? Because she's been through things. She's come through the Second World War. Um, and so she's got this gravitas and this grit and this never lie down and I'm not going to give in. I'm just going to get on with it. Um, she's a character. And that has come through experiences and situations. And we are going through a difficult situation at the moment, but we'll come out of it stronger. Use it for our good. You no, know, there's an African proverb that says this. Smooth seas do not make skillful sailors. Frida is a skillful sailor because she's been through choppy seas and she knows how to navigate it. And we are going through now choppy waters, but it will make us skillful sailors. So be enterprising, make the best of this. Use this situation to come out of this so much stronger. And I generally think we look back and a new generation will be uh, the stronger for it. Um, Put things right. So listen, be brave, be kind, be enterprising and put things right. We've got time, haven't we? And uh, we've probably spent more time with our families than we've ever spent with our families. Build relationships, repair relationships, um, uh, mend relationships, strengthen relationships, put things right. Uh, maybe you've done things wrong. We've all done things wrong. Let's put these things right and use this opportunity um, to uh, have better relationships with our parents, with our children, with our brothers and sisters, with our colleagues, with our neighbours. Let's use this opportunity to put things right. The sixth thing I'd say to you during this time is to trust. Um, trust me and trust the leadership of Fulham Boys School uh, that we are genuinely doing things um, for the right motives and for the best interest of our boys. You know, like I say, we've all got opinions and I'm sure that I will make decisions over the next few days and weeks and months which you will disagree with. Um, I listen to you, I promise you. I listen to what's going on. Um, but in a crisis, as a leader, I have to shape it, decide it and solve it. And I promise you that everything I do and everything I decide over the next few days and weeks and months will be for the best interest of our boys. That I promise you. So please, even when there's times when you don't necessarily agree with me, please trust me. Uh, the seventh thing I'd say is this, to be thankful. Even though it's um, awful time, <laughs> we've still got so much to be thankful for, haven't we? Be thankful for our, for our um, school. Um, be thankful for your families. Um, as teachers, you know, we, we've, we're in the news a lot. And um, we've got a lot of pressure, but we've also got lots to be thankful for. We've had a salary all the way through this. And, um, and so we've got so much to be thankful for. I'm sure you've got things to be thankful for. Think about it. Think, well, what, what can I be thankful for, even in this crisis? Um, number eight, be good to go when all this is past. Okay, so uh, don't... Um, think, well, the whole world stopped and I've got to stop. Make sure that you are geared up to be in a good place when all this has passed. Now, boys, I'll talk to you first. Um, remember those standards, yeah? So some of you will be in school uh, this week, some next week, hopefully everyone the week after. Um, that uniform needs to be immaculate. That hair needs to be neat and tidy. Those shoes need to be polished. That shirt needs to be tucked in. Um, standards, behaviour, manners, attitude, standards. Don't let those slip. Um, attendance and punctuality. Some of you will be working from home for a little while. Others will be in school. Be on time. Uh, even if you're working at home, there'll be form time every morning. Be there. Make sure you are there. Work hard. When we come out of this, some of you will have exams and uh, others of you will be working towards those exams. So work hard. So when you come out of all this, you're in a good place that you'll be able to succeed at GCSEs and A-levels. 
Um, the Enterprise Award. We are rejigging the Enterprise Award this half term. We want to get it just where we want it to be by the time we move to our permanent site in February. So engage with that. And I would really urge you to engage with the Enterprise Award. I think um, it is so valuable, particularly and more especially than it's ever been, given everything that's gone on. Because, you know, I think one thing we learned last summer, wasn't it, that, that uh, our life and our worth doesn't just come down to 10 numbers we get in our GCSEs and three letters we get in our A-levels. Uh, there's more to life. There's more about us. And the Enterprise Award will show that. So engage with it. It shows your skills, your experiences, your character. So please, 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 I think that's going to become increasingly valuable. So in the next few weeks, Mr. Brown will be in touch with you. Engage with it. Uh, parents, um, please, uh, lots of you are so supportive. In fact, all of you are supportive. So thank you. But I would like to think in 2021 that um, a lot more of you will really engage or re-engage. We need you. We need you more than ever. Um, I think lots of you think because the school is growing now and we're a grown-up school, we don't need you anymore. We've always said we want to be more than just a school and we need you. So please, please, please come to things, get involved with things. Um, I know the friends doing lots of things remotely and in some ways it's harder, but in other ways it's easier, isn't it? Because you can uh, switch on and engage with people um, on, on your settee with a cup of tea. So please, please, please get involved. Help us financially. Some of you give the school. Um, we'd love it if you could to give more. Others of you maybe don't give or please, if you've got the means to give, please give. We need, we need your finances right now more than ever if we're going to achieve our ambitions. Um, ninthly, look forward, okay? Um, it's horrible at the moment, but there are things to look forward to. We're about to move to our permanent site. And uh, it's amazing. Some of the staff have been there. Some of the boys have been there. It's so exciting. And um, we'll be there in the next few weeks. And we're going to have three ceremonies in 2021 to mark the occasion. We're going to get famous people to come along and inspirational people to come along. It's going to be a carnival year. So much to look forward to. In some ways, there's never been a better time to be a Fulham boy. Uh, we've got a structure in place now. Um, Mr. Smith's done a fantastic job as head of school and um, we're really in a good place now to push on. We've got it set up. The foundations are there. Now is the time, the phase where we're going to push on and really get towards that holy grail of becoming one of the best schools in the country. And finally, think. So listen, be brave, be kind, be enterprising, put things right, trust us, be thankful, be good to go when all this is past, look forward, and finally, think. You know, um, I don't know about you, but throughout all this, it gives you a sense of perspective, doesn't it, about what's important. And um, uh, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, last January, do you know what he said? He said, this is gonna be a good year for Britain. Donald Trump, uh, in January he said, it's just one person from China who's got it, and we've got it under control. Now, some of you might laugh at that, some of you might touch, some of you might be quite angry about that, but to be fair, they, they didn't know. We didn't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, didn't know what's gonna happen in 2020. We don't know what's gonna happen in 2021. And um, I've realized, or been reinforced to me, that uh, I'm not the master of my fate, and I'm not the captain of my soul. And so, uh, as a Christian, um, in 2021, I will look to God because I believe he is in control of all of this. And so I look to him and I leave you with a verse that I left the boys uh, in the last lockdown. And uh, it'll be, if you like, uh, I would like you to think about this going into 2020. It's the psalm as he says this, I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Here's to 2021. Hello, Mr. Smith here, Head of School. Happy New Year. I um, hope you've been able to have an enjoyable Christmas and a good break. I know it wouldn't have probably been as normal as you would usually have had, but I hope it has been a restful one for you. Um, it's been a bit of a strange start to the term um, for all of us. I've been really looking forward to this term. I think we've laid foundations um, academically for our students, year seven all the way to year 13. Our exam classes are starting to flourish and year sevens are embedded 
We're due to move into our permanent site in a few weeks' time. I visited that a few weeks ago, incredibly exciting. And then suddenly we're back here and the most important part of our school, the students, our boys, aren't here. Um, and we're doing all we can to make sure the environment is as safe as possible to have every single boy back as quickly as we possibly can. But in the meantime, I want to make sure that while you're at home, the remote, remote learning is as good as it possibly can be so that you can flourish. So I just want to go through a few details and there'll be some emails coming out to parents about this as well so you can understand exactly what you will have to do. So our remote learning will kickstart from tomorrow, that's Tuesday the 5th of January. And tutor time will be at 8.30 a.m. So please be dressed and ready for tutor time. And that will be live with your tutor there. And there will be a register taken. So please do make sure that you are present for that tutor time. And we'll be following up on those students who are not there on a regular basis. From 8.30 in the morning as well, work will be put on every single year group Google Classroom. So you can engage in the work. That's from year 7 all the way to year 10. For year 11, we want to encourage you to continue working and studying for your mocks. They were due to start this week, but they're going to be starting next week instead. Make sure that you're looking at every exam that is going to come up and make sure you're engaging in that material and we'll make sure there is more revision material for you if you need it. You will receive a phone call from a member of the senior team in the next couple of days just to touch base and see how you're doing to prepare for those mock exams. They're incredibly important. If you're in year 12 or year 13, you'll be receiving live lessons, which will take place at exactly the same time as your timetabled lessons. Please be ready at your career Chromebook on the Google Classroom, ready to engage with your teacher during those lessons. Be enterprising, push yourself. Make sure you engage in every single piece of work that is being set. If you're asked to submit something, please submit it. Make sure it's the best of your ability. If you don't understand the work that is set, email your teacher. Ask the questions so that when you come back to school, it doesn't feel like you're starting right from the very beginning. You're always moving forward. You're always progressing as a student and as a Fulham boy. Parents, I want to say thank you. I think looking, looking back over the last few years, also looking forward to moving to the permanent site, we really wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I want to say thank you for your encouragement and support through emails and conversations over the last few months. They've really helped us as a school get through this situation. There's a couple of things I've really asked for you to do over the next few weeks to really engage with the remote learning process. First of all, as much as you're able, please make sure that your son is out of bed, is dressed and is ready for tutor time at 8.30 with his Chromebook charged and in front of him. Please make sure he is ready to really engage in everything that we're going to be putting on as a school. Number two, ask to see some of the work that he's done. It doesn't mean you have to understand all of it, but it does mean you can see the quantity and you can evaluate the quality of that work. Has he written enough? Has he submitted it when it was asked to be submitted? Does it look like it's done to the best of his ability? Does it look like it has been rushed? And make sure that you really engage in that process and push your son to produce work that shows his true potential. And thirdly, please keep encouraging your son, encouraging your son to engage in the process. He will be back here as soon as he possibly can be. We'll be looking at the work that he is doing and it will go on to lay the foundations academically to thrive going forward. We're really looking forward to having every single boy back. If there are any issues with any of the work, please do let us know and hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Thank you. Goodbye.